So now I'm ready to start adding text to my module and I'm going to write up the text in Word. I just think that's a better tool. You could also use uh, Google Docs, but I just like to use Word for creating the text of the adventure. It's um, sort of hard to do it in Affinity Publisher. So once I've got the text created, I'm going to add this. So first I'm going to start with this introduction. And in this case, instead of an actual introduction, I'm sort of saying what sort of things should go into the introduction. So the introduction probably doesn't have any information that if a player reads this, they wouldn't get any GM information out of the introduction. Then I'm going to do the background. This would have GM information and provide a lot of background for the adventure, tell the GM what's going on. Uh, you might have the NPCs in here. Um, you know, some common ones might be the innkeeper. Uh, maybe there's a knight in this particular one. And maybe there's some merchant in here so they can buy some things. Um, but maybe a description of some NPCs. Uh, and then usually there's a section on um, adventure hooks. And these are, this is a way to get your players interested or motivated to want to play in this game. And depending on the type of group you have, you might have different motivations. So they might be combat oriented. Maybe they're interested in getting wealth or money. Um, or they might be more interested in building a story. So depending on which way, uh, may depend on which type of adventure hook you would add. Um, and then um, the last part is an adventure summary. And this is where you're telling the GM uh, what do you think is going to happen in the adventure. Now, they may, that may not happen, but if you play test it, uh, you may have a better idea on some of the multiple ways that um, this adventure could play out because your players would have tried uh, doing things that you did not think of when you wrote it. And then finally is the adventure section. In this section, um, if it has a dungeon crawl or a building with rooms, you're going to have numbered rooms with descriptions of each room in there. Now, for this, um, I'm going to uh, just uh, minimize that for now. And then I'm going to change the format of these to give them a serif font. And so I'm going to use the body format. If I look at how I have that set up, I currently have that set up as Bookman Old Style, but I want to change that to a 10 point font like that. So, and then I'll see if I like that. If I don't like that, I can change the font for that and it'll change all of the text in the document that has that same um, text style. So I'm gonna make this one the same, make this one the same, make this, um, for now I'll just keep that the same. I'll make this one body and this one body and I'll highlight the whole thing just to make sure it's all body. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching.